to all of those who tuned into the realest thing coming out of Guyana. Ah, possibly the world undisputably set. So, you know, sometimes it's better you stay in your car now, right? As people say, stay in your lane. This is what I experienced this morning. How much are you all saying, Aileen? Put this baby up there, man. This is why. What, what was your experience like this morning? This was me experience this morning. How the baby look? That's my newest baby. How she look? Eh? <laughs> I care she put the. I care she put the um. The new road. This morning. And. Was interesting. I care she for blow the new road little wavy though. The new road is a little. Wavy, let me power she up. She said, oh baby, oh, ride me. <laughs> I wake up this man, I think it. Why, why getting myself in? What have I gotten myself into? Jack, people like Jack D. U. Glenn Lol. Yes, eh? Where's the program? Is that crazy? What you going on here? Let me show you all this what's going on in this country. Right? What you going on here? So this is everybody and I think you're like, everybody biting it. <laughs> what you are you going to with now? <laughs> Glenn by T, everybody. Yes, and they even got the propagandists there. Bare bogus news she's the pun. <laughs> One in there right there. Daily is bare bogus news. <laughs> Sensation and confusion. She used to work with me. I had to get rid of she. She got to run some story that I collect some fat. It was that people like Joe, Cyril Johanna for cover up as <laughs> Oh, God. I can't take it out. <laughs> Sometimes I can't help myself, and I can't get it. But we get yourself in. Sally, Sally, good morning. <laughs> hey, man, we always call up with these things, man. The world is seeing you. You're putting yourself on the world stage. Who named Sally Sally? <laughs> Pam Singh, good morning. Pratima Pasad, good morning. A good, great morning to you. You know, Sally Sally. <laughs> Vinod Pasad, good morning, brother. Glenn, yesterday's bear action. Listen to me, I don't know if Glenn talking about Eiler, he's talking about money. <laughs> you gotta listen to here, Jack, you. <laughs> right? I see some of these people name you, Alice Shame. Oh, the weather is, the weather is great down here. I went for a ride this morning. Blow the bike, yeah, I said. I try to straighten me here by riding, man. You could straighten me here by riding? <laughs> I try to get the hair do well, like at, at least what I could do. But when I go see the hair, it's a pshhh. Right, I'm going to stop the hair, it's a blam. Come back. <laughs> and I try to figure out, and then I remember it's the black in you. <laughs> you hear hard. <laughs> you can't get the black out of you. 
Have you seen me? Mm. And the hero song. Shhh. And when I start, they just blam. <laughs> Here not text written. Here not text written. <laughs> just like my attitude. <laughs> I listen to me. I mean, I make up these things. Don't don't make yourself an ass with me. I'm telling you, I kid you not. I can't make up these things. You understand? I wouldn't lie to you. Right? So yeah, I gotta go and see the. Yeah, I think. Um. What a girl name from Vice. Showtime. Could put on a show. You gotta see Jagdio. You gotta look, go and listen to Jagdio press conference yesterday. Show? What you going, Annie? What you missing on plat me foot now? Like a big buy. They say you're playing big buy. Oh, you think it got sense? <laughs> And Glenn Nessa. This is what gonna happen here. Hello, good morning. Good morning, my brother. Yeah, bro, talk to me. I, I want you to keep a press conference with Mr. Jack Dio and Glenn Lal, and I want you to be the referee, and I want you to be fair. When Glenn asks a question, I don't want, and you see Jack Dio going, eh, hey, say, man, this is not what the man asks. So I want you to be the referee and be fair. That's not a press conference. That would be, uh, um, I know what you're talking about. I want off. I want off. Right? I, I'll set it up. Okay, then. Now we're going to do it on Glenn Lal Radio. Correct. Right, right that. Cool. This is where it's called it when two people go face off. Uh, Awa? No man, debate. Debate, debate. Them da all must sit down or one and one. One and one is be a jack you. Where your guy is a debate, cause Glenn Glenn here I'm now. Uncle Glenn I tell him many times he hard in this thing. He might be ass deep <laughs> in this thing, debate, debate. Sita, so here yeah, up now. Lucky thing me don't follow them this at the back here. They would lead me astray. <laughs> them young, them young. <laughs> them brave, but they young. <laughs> they not no bad ras for them attack. It's with the blood clot I go on here. Why I can't get this? Oh. Yeah. So, let me go straight to the Jack Dio press conference. Right, me go to the part. Me go straight down to the end. Jack Dio talk la la la. I go talk with Jack Dio. I go listen to the press. He talk la la la. But this is so. It's with the action there. Right between Glenn Lal and he. We gotta get Glenn Lal. We gotta get Glenn Lal. Man can talk long. Man talk to the street, but you gotta go straight down at the end. With Glenn Lal and he. And Kim all. What happened that now you might want to have a different approach? I, I think I have to analyze this that maybe I'd have to be a bit more cautious, but then that changes exactly who is who I've been helping me, huh? Everyone. You see the smirk on his manifest? Yeah, buddy. Morning. Talk to me. Morning, morning. Yeah. Hola, Glenn Lal think he speak for the whole of Guyana. He doesn't speak for the whole of Guyana. He speak for himself. Well, he would speak for the people who have an interest like that. But again, I am saying, and I said it before, um, I, he's not well informed. And even when I used to work for Uncle Glenn, he used to beg him, man, critic, come and, and, and go up on the program, right? And let's start. He wanted me to start talking about oil and my program. 
But if you listen to Glenn Lally, you listen to um, what Jack D was saying yesterday. Like, me tell you, me get lost in translation. Me not chop it. But I have never paid much mind to the bigger things. I had in. I got interested in local content. How do Guyanese benefit? How do we get Guyanese jobs and things? Because if you go all over the world, is the big grabbing up. You understand? Exactly. Now we need Jack Dio yesterday said the deal was lopsided. You understand? Know that. That's a matter of fact. He and Glenn Lyle grip on that. What is not in agreement is how do we make amends to this thing? You understand? How do we deal with this thing? How do we address this thing? Glenn Lyle got a broke up, forge up approach. Let me stop everything. You understand? But what happened now? We just come out of a pandemic. People, they're bad. Yeah, you need the revenue. Yes, sir. This has been our job. We need to get... And the next thing, too, he keeps saying that companies get tax break. But I think his uh, his own family get lots of tax break because Suri Manufacturing is his daughter own, right? If I'm wrong, I apologize. No, but, but, no, no, but here, this is daughter. But, and, and the husband is my friend. Frank is my friend, and, and they get in, in that tax break, they would have deserved it. Yeah, duty free. And so, yeah, but he can't speak about one company and not speak about the other. It's general, like Jack, you said, generally, when you invest, if you're entitled to a tax break and duty free concession, you get it. No, but they're Guyanese. He's talking about outside, right? And I could tell you, Glenn Lal is, is totally separate from um, Surya and we son in law, we, we, his daughter does. Right? I can tell you because I know. I know. I, yeah, I used to be at Starbuck Market. So I know he since he's selling shoes in Starbuck Market. Okay, okay. Me and me know he's yeah, selling. Here, here, this, here this part. So if he cares so much about the poor people, why he don't open a shoe factory? I don't think he ever. He's in the shoe business over 30 years. He has never opened a shoe factory. He didn't open no pulp mill to make paper, create thousands. No, but here what happened. In representing oneself, in people representing the position like you're doing right now. You look at things differently. And I say it again. You can't look at big things or understand big things if you're doing it with your heart. You understand? You got to do it with your head. You can't do things with your heart. You got to do it with your head. You got to think straight. You understand? We talk, bro. Hello, good morning. Yeah, brother. Um, I'm concerned about accidents in Guyana. Concerned about accidents in Guyana? Yeah, we care. Every minute you go on Facebook, you see somebody with accident, accident, right? Yeah. Concerned about it, my contribution is like, I want to know the police them can put something under the pedal, like reduce the speed. Well, my brother, um, the world over, it might not necessarily be reducing speed alone. You asking the police for reduced speed? The police got to stop selling driver's license. Look, GRA, just get some staff, get hold up for them, get charged for selling driver's license. Exactly. Yes, sir. Eh? I got two boys there right in there. I kid you not. I got two boys writing the driving test. And I tell Sean and Paul, I say, y'all have nothing to do, all day to do it. Why you can't pass a test? If they fail the test, they're going right again. You understand? Yeah. No, I understand yeah. their circumstances. With some people, their head just hard. But they're supposed to be driving, find something else to do. Go and toil in the mud. You understand? Go and spray. They got, they got, they got work. Where they just go spray the essay. Just put a, a can for your back. I did that job once. Put a can for your back. You can't get in no accident with nobody. You need a can for your back for slow you down. I ain't no way going with speed. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring the bring me power pack and some phone dead here. Mm, action to go upstairs in my room and get it. Mm-hmm. What you going on in by there? Hmm? Hmm. What you going on in the center? Nice and soft. Mm-hmm. Proper. Well, Jack, they're relaxing. 
and Glenn got a big building on Regent Street. Yes, and Jack Dew retired with his his presidential pension. Eh? Me, I must lose sleep over them. When I left to two by leg. <laughs> by leg eat me by leg and shut me out. I eat them by leg and drink a black tea and mining my business. You get to go? Glenn going now with you. Me? Glenn has a newspaper. Imagine Glenn has start life. I have to pay Brazenton. You don't pay 37 million. Me? Nah. I eat him by leg and drink him black tea. I'm mining my business. Mmm. <laughs> What about your leg? The white one. Mm -hmm. So. Scarlet Harry, she's outside of the back. She's shedding, so you don't have to know. Paul got curse to today for get a grooming. So what you going to have with, with Jack Dew here? Now, any time they have some issue in government, it's not because I want money from them, because I want to see them uh, succeed, more jobs created, etc. And so that open door policy, I have to review it or put in place some other... It's very difficult to know what people see before they come to your office. Because they may, you know, you may think innocently they set up a meeting and ask you to set up someone and they are, have an agreement with the person or take money from them. That, that's, it's very hard to, to do this sort of thing. So, I don't know, um, it could change, yes. I, I have to think about it. Seriously. Okay, just one more on the file contract. Uh, you have said that you think that it could have been better. Um, Mr. Lal believes it's the worst contract. Mr. Lal believes it's the worst contract. You know, Kira, uh, <laughs> this place is so small. Kimal used to work with Glenn Lal. Now he's with oil now. And the next one said, like me, now she walking. But she's the little woman lying, say Hawaii. Um. I get COVID. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I get COVID. She the next one from Prime News starts spreading the rumor how I get COVID. Do you believe these people easy? So let me listen. You gotta see Uncle Glenn, man. Uncle Glenn in action. I tell you, stop thinking with the heart. What's your face? What's your face? <laughs> In Guyana, you know. Listen to me, there's no joke. In Guyana, everybody got some stain. Everybody. Me, the Saiya Gori. She. She walk at Starbrook News. They said she thieves some papers the other day. Police come to Starbrook News looking for she hide. <laughs> Poor girl. She's a reporter. Right? Nice girl. Always pleasant. Trying to think. She doing she thing is easy going down. Somebody drops some documents and she next to the police looking for she. <laughs> Glenn, well, he got history. I know he history. Yeah, sir? Yeah, I know he history. You don't get show us because the most confusion in this country. You want to be confused? I wouldn't say Mr. Because look, look at he. <laughs> the man look like he got a heart on his face. <laughs> Those we hardest look like. <laughs> 
Let me hear where Uncle Glenn said, man. Me, me like listen. Me like he. He's always been supported of men. So let me hear. Let me get the vibes there with yes, Uncle Glenn. Right, but it is an expose. It's not. It's not before it's me. Yeah, yeah, she was trembling hard, hard yesterday. I wonder how she trembling so for ask Jack your question. And uh, and uh, 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 I said, oh God, Alex Starbuck News got broke down here now. <laughs> Alex Starbuck News got broke up like the ring. And uh, uh, Jack, you know, he's just we're right with this girl. <laughs> this what you talking? Let me get let me get she part, man. So the whole country is like yapping, the whole country yapping now. Right? So let me get the questions and answer part. Uncle Glenn up on the case, he making joke. Hold on, hold on. I get in, I get in it for y'all. I get in it for y'all. And so this is, I see this, uh, and even some technical people are making that mistake. This is on a cash basis. Now, the accrual is a different matter, but you analyze a business on cash flow. This is cash flow every year. This is what the contractors take for profit in cash flow. The 2021 was around 300, and the government was 420. So that sort of, of thing. So let me come to the issue. I just now, Uncle Glenn at the back of the class. <laughs> You don't gotta listen, Uncle Glenn. You gotta stop and listen. This is the only way you could learn. <laughs> Miss! Sir! <laughs> Sir, I want to talk! <laughs> Sir! <laughs> It's me shoulder you're seeing. It's me shoulder you're seeing down there. Right? You know me? Right away, you saw, switch the camera. <laughs> as soon as he put up here. Hear me too. Sorry, you want to talk. He want to talk. <laughs> me, his body. You know you got a friend and you got a presumptuous friend? Right? I hear you tell you. Yes. You give all the confidence you got. Sir, sir, sir. I'm like, sir. <laughs> Glenn will <won't> attack. <laughs> you know, you got the answer. You got the answer. <laughs> no, no, I can't do it. Man. man. Hey, no, man. Hey, 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 hey. Don't let me get fucked up next to that, ain't he? I can't make up these things. I am just sitting there like a normal citizen. Well, I can't say no. <laughs> we ain't got no song, no, we ain't got no song. What, what song do you want? Run to the song. Ah, eh. <laughs> Her, don't let me get fixed with you. I was sitting there as the guy in the street. I can't say a normal person because they ain't got nothing normal about me. When you go wake up, 
5 o'clock in the morning and jump up on the R6 and go crazy up on the highway. Me alone and God. And God's watching down with me and thinking, is this your plan? You plan for chuck it in early and come up here? Not here! We know why you here! You don't cause it enough confusion in Guyana. Yes, sir. Just hanging around, Glen Lal, and Jack Dio, make you want to eat my leg this morning. Let's buy two more eggs for them for me. Just watching them. Watch. <laughs> Let's buy one, not two. Me supposed to eat so much egg, but me eat egg a couple days. <laughs> When Jack Dio, listen to me, listen. I can't make up this thing. Watch. I know who else, after watching Jack Dio and Glenn Lal, get the urge for eat by leg, but that is just happened to me this morning. <laughs> Pop it. <laughs> I thinking if I eat egg, I can get bright. <laughs> because. <laughs> Y'all don't like your fudging vex with y'all, you know. Me am making up nothing, buddy. Watch the man there in class with the hand up in here. Look the man there. Look there. The man is in class with his hand up in the air, wishing to have a say. Listen. Eh. Mommy, I don't get fudging wrong, you know. If y'all accusing me of me, I am making up that thing. Look at the video. You get a sorry say you will get a chance. Wait your turn. <laughs> like you <are laughs> Me was had so much a question for after Rastaman give me a question for after second why I question. And me a watch on the beside by before me go ask and slap me in me mouth and say, Shut your bloody mouth. This is ball head business. Where you going with all you here? This is ball head business. I said before. They slap me. I can just listen to what the two of them got said tomorrow morning. I can eat me by leg. No, <laughs> but but that's being in the newspapers written about every day. It's watch, 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 watch. Sorry. Of course, the demon was a person. Watch it, watch it. What, what is movie? It is Sabbath news, so I just wanted to... Man, go back now, man. Go back now, man. Okay. So let me go. Watch, of course, a demon. Who is seen the car in there? Uh, of course, a demon was a person. <laughs> Watch it all. Watch me face. Hold on. Put them up and put me down at the bottom. Let her watch the video. Let her watch me. Ugly face. Put put me down at the bottom. Watch me face now. Huh? So what are you telling me for? The guy, oh, oh, um, Rebecca. Let her install the AC. The guy install the AC in the back room. Which back room? Your room at the back there. Let us put the AC inside there. Let us see the best location. Right, Safe. Yes. I can't make up this thing. So, of course, a demon was a person. Watch me there. The contractor's profit is 300 million, and the government gets 420 million in 2021. So that was it. So when I saw figures that the contractor was getting four times more than that of the government, what the people are doing, they're adding back up. They're adding also the cost recovery. Some technical nice to relearn. Watch out, watch No, but, but that's me in the newspapers written up. Watch the media the camera, right? I mean, the... <laughs> The man explained away Uncle Glenn said Mina acts. He get confused just like me. And I got great respect for the man who more knowledge than me. 
When he get confused, me say, you don't ask no question before you look like a big jackass, say bye. <laughs> Go tomorrow and eat by leg. <laughs> oh, every day, it's up in your newspaper, Sorry, it's sir. in the Starbuck News. So I just wanted to make sure that that perspective comes over because when people see that, it excites them. Because they're billions of Glenn get talking about just now. When you say about billions, you say, eh, we gotta stay close to this man. It's four times that of the government. And what they include in that the seventy five percent or going to cost recovery. And that is sometimes it makes people get angry. Angry. Now your point about they approve. At the last press conference, I sought to address some of these issues. You may not agree, we may not have agreement. I spoke about why. So, if we start ring fencing now, right, we will run afoul if we would have to have an amendment to ring fence. But you can achieve the same objective. You can achieve the same objective by not approving new projects. So you effectively, you kill the investment pipeline for the future. You say, we're not approving any new investment, so we will cap our production at eight. My story lang, my story lang. Me why you want Uncle Glenn Gaffer say? Secondly, even if you get more, a bit more money up front as a result of this, because you're capping expenditure, then you, you just save the money. I explained... Uncle Glenn saying no. Hello, Uncle Glenn is work. Uncle Glenn, and me don't got people like that wrong. Me means I had some friend and stuff like that. You ever got a friend? They must say, man, what do you think me should do? This time they know what they want to do. They want to paint the place in red. So you say, hey, they, they, they go by your friend and say, how, what color do you think me should paint this house in? Right? This time they done buy red paint and got it, you know, you say, it would love be nice in a green, it would be nice in a yellow. Hear them. What do you think about red? Well, you could mix green and yellow and you get a little thing of lighter color. What do you think about red? Well, you could thing and you could get brown. Brown might be more thing in the air. What do you think about red? Glenn like the, <laughs> he don't understand nothing else but what he understands. At Nordium, the last time we came here, you can save it. You have to save it for the future. We believe that investing it in is a better way. So this, this whole idea, we have discussed it already. No, you just don't agree with it. No, sir. You have been, this, this nation, I like to stand up. Yes, yeah, stand up! This entire nation have the worst contract on earth and we really there bad by imagine we got the worst contract on earth the fifth largest oil producing nation one of the largest oil reserves is venezuela and they people run away from their country because they got tired people wipe their ass You see, the problem is, Uncle Glenn simplifies it. So people get it. They get his message clear. And I continue to tell him how dangerous he is. Because they're hearing and they think they understand. Now imagine in this day and age, as this country moves forward, Glenn Lal says, we have gotten the worst contract on earth. You have countries producing oil. Trinidad and said they got, had to get the worst contract. The oil are on, they done for. This is about management. This is about good management practices. Now, is that me say? Is Glenn Lyle saying so? Listen to this thing. That's the second, second, that's the first thing. Secondly, secondly, even if you... Now the man digging kicks off. Watching these two banners back and forth. 
Make I come and eat a set of my leg this morning. <laughs> I just get a, I just get a feeling for my leg. <laughs> that is what watching a two ballad man is cause. Yo, for be up in your feelings for my leg. Get more, a bit more money up front as a result of this because you're capping expenditure. Get, you, you just save the money. I explained this at, at not done the last time we came here. You can save it. You have to save it for the future. We believe that investing it in is a better way. So this this whole idea, we have discussed it. There's one from one ballet to another ballet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Last night I dream. When I'm not done with me, I dream I got a parachute dropping out of some plane. I had to jump up with me R6 and blow it out this morning just to ease the tensities when the two band of them done with me. Cause Glenn Lal all worked up and stressed out. What about the face? He looked like he loses sleep over Glenn Lal. Watch your face. If the fudging two of them think they would got me wrong and wrong and me here go drop out me head no. No. I eat in my leg and, and, and my new business. Already, you just don't agree with it. No, sir. You have been this this nation, I like to stand up. Stand up! This entire nation have the worst contract on earth. No, it's not me sir Glenn Lal Sessor. That is factually incorrect. Now again, what kind of deal Venezuela has? There are a number of different factors. There's the geopolitics of an area, the politics in general. Look at Vice, nobody see what Vice is about. What Vice Show Time Series is about? You ever see Vice Show Time Series talking about any American company in any corrupt act? No. You ask where they get their funding from. Who is behind it? What is their intention? They can't vex with the man for representing himself. This is the next thing. Y'all don't ever vex with the man. That's where y'all lose it. If a man is protecting his interests, protecting his business, protecting his family, Protecting his future, you got to give you respect. How he does that is the problem. And you understanding what he's doing is the problem, right? So let me listen to Uncle Glenn. And every loophole we see or we have at, this, this, uh, at, at our at disposal in which we can use to garner money in our pockets, reinforcing such an important issue, we are just just so that John Smith, um, I didn't speak to Vice. Vice News spoke to me. No, I can't tell. Like you understand, Vice News wanted me to find people to say that Jack Dio is corrupt. When we parted ways, I'm telling y'all in the video, y'all understand what's going on. I spoke about it yesterday morning. Their interest was to find people who would Speak a certain guy. I say, how you go? You just go and interview people and talk to people and get factual thing. But if you look at how the thing is structured, all this thing for 16 minutes? For 16 minutes? Let me listen now. Uncle Glenn said here, it, it, everybody see. If Glenn Lyle say it ill important, Glenn Lyle said it didn't make no sense. Vice News makes no sense. Vice Showtime series. This is where we, this country is losing right. billions of US dollars, my friend. All right. Billions uh, and Jack, you ain't even know how for arguing them. You want Jack, you stop arguing? Glenn, Glenn, Lal for go. Because Glenn, Lal don't understand Jack, you. And Jack, you don't understand Glenn, Lal's mass confusion. <laughs> and me, I eat him by leg. And drink him black tea. This, it's billions of US dollars this nation is losing on that. Listen to me. When me here though, me saw push behind him in pocket right away. 
Imagine all the people come together. The Americans, that even the Chinese, that even the American enemies, that even the Russians say. Glenn Lyle say. Now why I'm telling him be cautious. He shut down projects. He fight projects before. He lie enough. That's why he had to pay so much money to Brazilton. Most likely he's a news business. He got, um, there are times he could have been misled. I don't think Uncle Glenn would lie about anything genuinely. Straight off the bat. I know the man. The problem with is ill-informed in certain areas he's getting into. He has people to do this, you know. At Kaicho News, got a girl named Kiana Wilborn. And she knows more about oil than a lot of Guyanese. She researched it. She's a professional. You understand? He got, when she talks, so he I try to make one different story. It doesn't work like that. The facts can't be changed. And he plays an important role. I continue to tell me he plays an important role in how we affect the lives of Guyanese. He's created this atmosphere that Guyanese are feeling hopeless, like we're losing, everything is lost. And it's, it's far from the truth. Listen to what he's saying, man. Lack of that one provision. Yeah. Okay. Are we, you, let's, let's ask. Right, again, I'll give you a chance to perform when I come yeah. on the tele, when I come on your... Um... I talk about the, the field development plans, yes. the reviews, right. and the, the taxes. Jack, you say give you a chance to perform. <laughs> Hey, my baby, my leg, them. I'll let it bring me one more by leg. Two for Jagdio, um, three for Jagdio, and one for Glenn. Me eating three by leg for Jagdio, and one for Glenn. <laughs> so, uh, again, on this very same issues, they're all interlinked. That because that is what you're, you're effectively killing the project pipeline. That by not moving forward. So then how this country is gonna eke out anything? If we have if it's clear to us, Mr. Vice President, that this is available for us to get money through these projects and it's not being used, then how is the nation and gonna get money? No, but this that's precisely so we are getting a share of the profit oil and the royalty at this stage, and we said that from the other projects, the local content, from the gas to energy. This is where we're getting value for Guyana. It's not just revenue to the state, it is value to the country. Mr. Vice so, President, you're talking about two all right, dollars all right. when we are losing billions of dollars. But that is dollars. why I just That's saw, all I'm saying. Yes, I, I saw that perspective and that is why I started with an explanation of the cash on a cash flow basis how much comes to the two parties in profit pure profit because there is this view that when when you portray it as exxon on profit that they make the raking four times more profit than the, the government anyhow there is yes uh, mr vice president Clarify, why is it that the part... Uncle so Glenn. That, that's how we operate. So in that process, will people capitalize on it? Yes, there may be a few, but every venture wanted to... And, yeah. Lastly, clarity on um, something you said about the, the investigation, um, that it would be kind of... A waste of time? I don't know. That's what they need. No, because um, if they wanted to really catch me, the guy knew English. They won, right? He was all he had to say. Not to whisper in Mandarin to Sue. It was to say to me, we have a bride for you. Or you would not have to call it a bride. So in my hope. You don't could Glenn them, man. For me, I think people, if he has done this to people, collected money from them. This is the kind of things that got me eating by leg. For an investigation of you. Oh, okay, but that's an opposition thing. Yeah, that's all. They, they, were, 
Whether even before this they were calling for that, that's nothing new. It's that's not nothing. Gonna that's, that's not. Gonna, that's not going to on allegations on the basis of allegations. If we had to do that on the basis of allegations, I can say that when Norton is by Bamba Mali, people give him stuff to their face. A lot of stuff. I don't want to deal with. This banner is a disrespectful banner. You know? That banner talking about the president in waiting. Out at Bam Bam Ali. Who going to the who going to the polls? You understand how this guy becomes damaged? Poor Lil Narton. At the back of the class. With no hope. No chance of an opportunity. You imagine people going to the po the polls and all is on their mind is not mm, true Bam Bam Ali. Sit down on a plastic chair, look like you got the sit down on double. <laughs> These bad is that easy. Commissioners will be coming. The uh, commissioners will fire the members, the panel. Um, where they'll be drawn from and open those. Oh, uh, I think before the end of the day, in an hour of this time, you will see that that is going to be announced. Yeah, let me go across here first then. Okay. Can you clarify the protocol? Um, you mentioned that some opposition presses have reached out to you um, to get the interview with us. Were you aware that Vice News was in the island for several weeks and had visited several communities where they met with prominent opposition figures? Um, and the second question is, did the report refer to you during the interview as the most powerful politician in the island? Do you think that you were deliberately set out, they deliberately set out to target you? So the first one is yes. Um, I I discovered subsequently that they had visited some places. I think they went to Saram, and and I don't want to speak much about who who the people are because it could be that they are they were also fooled by vice, but there were some opposition people, and clearly they had that angle to it, but I thought they were more interested in the geopolitical stuff. And obviously they got from the others, you know, well, to Jack Deer, Jack Deer. Um, I think also that they're trying to target people who have some significance. So Martin probably would have never even been targeted for a sting operation. Emotional damage! <laughs> but that's true. Imagine if you didn't reach out to me. No, but he was not opposition leader then. He was opposition leader. No, he was thing. But even now, if you come into this country, what are you going to talk to the opposition leader about? Places for lime? <laughs> People for Gaffet? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jack did him in easy bye. So, Here. Um, uh, that, uh, the last question that you raised about they tried to look around for people who I think have something. So they wouldn't have even targeted Norton first thing operation. Because, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm so, uh, just going to be clarifying on the um, how soon do you anticipate the law to be amended? I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know because not the hotels have been built. At every venture of public to solving issues all the time. That's how we operate. So in that process, will people to solving issues and that they are with the investor. And I said no. Throw that. You saw that. I don't want to give you up. And I do. I said if. If, for example, that is why every one of those that the court to the advice in the future. Well, see, Glenn, I just explained to you. There is, yes. This, the, the, the interview and what he said outside of the meeting, even his attempt to say, you know, the guy. Uh, actually, we close that this thing. Me, I go find something for that. It is that. Is Let me go down to the end. We have a act. We have a act. We had an after party. Yeah, check out the after party. Yeah, I see the after party. Watch, watch, watch. Jack, you're done. Uh, you, you're the there, man. You're, uh, all 
The man come to think they start fight for. They want ask question after the fact. What? Do not make sense? How do you make sense, man? How can you speed up the process? I ask him, he, above. <laughs> you sure this big man ain't got in his head? <laughs> I ask him, because I expect we got fine about this vice thing and we got clear up this thing of corruption, right? So I ask him, but I don't know. I try to dig something. If he dig it in, Jack, do you? Right? Well, he see the same thing why he see it. They make no sense. But he even realizes why he asking him. I kid you not. Hear me. Hear, hear, hear. hear the demon. Listen, listen. Listen. I turn the camera where he you know. He start turn Jaguar press conference into he press conference. This is the after party. Investments now with this window of opportunity we have and faster investments can best serve our nation in the long run. Some people believe, no, we should slow it down so that we can get, get more money faster and what it, in the long run, I think that will harm us. That's, that's where our perspective is. Thank you very much. Listen to this. So, Mr. Lal, you find what he finds total nonsense. Do not make sense. How do you make sense, man? How can you speed up a process or a loss on a contract in this in a in a staff block a block? The staff of block. The most valuable point block. Right? Let's see the block side back. Look over here, my, here on, you're talking with Ayla, no, this is your baby, yeah. right? This is a major thing with Vice, or this is Ilan Poo, right? Well, um, I'm Vice, yeah. I think it would be my brother, we stay down the road, right? Okay. Yeah, it's not, it's not. Uh, that makes sense. No, no, sir. I hear, I hear, I've been a <laughs> this is after party. And they got full propagandist there in between them there. Oh, yeah, I like how he's bring it. I don't have enough time. After party, the country is there, but because they have to carry for somebody says something. You talk where you are. Peace out! Tupac! Mean that with them. <laughs> all right, buddy. All right, all right. So that was yesterday event, right? And that just looking at. Glenn Lal and Jack Dio has caused me to have an urge for boil eggs this morning. So again, I want to thank you for tuning in to the realest thing coming out of Guyana, possibly the world, undisputably so. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Ta-ta now. <laughs>